Metro Vancouver Police continue to deal with gang shootings, as do members of the Toronto Police Service. And in recent years, Canadians have witnessed large-scale tragedies. Shootings like this one in Maple Ridge, British Columbia, have become a regular occurrence in many parts of Canada, despite having tougher gun laws than in the United States. The problem is here, and it has been here for several years, I often comment the fact that the reason why we have such uh, a, a significant amount of gang violence given the Canadian culture here is the simple access to firearms. And the majority of those firearms are coming from the United States. A new Statistics Canada report shows firearm-related homicides jumped 11% from 2013 to 2020. The majority of those crimes involved handguns. New federal firearms legislation is expected to be introduced on Monday. I'm not going to preempt uh, what Minister Mendicino uh, um, uh, has in, 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 as a matter of cabinet confidence, uh, but I think, I think it's fair to say that this is on the top of the Prime Minister's agenda. It's Will new legislation make a difference? BC's former Solicitor General believes it could. This has worked for other countries such as Britain and Australia, where in fact they had a couple of serious incidents of mass shootings and they got in front of it and they showed that there was a reduction in this. A reduction in gun crimes would undoubtedly be welcomed by Canadians, but details of the legislation are yet to be released and would still face the parliamentary process before becoming law. Catherine Urquhart, Global News, Vancouver.